Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the AEW Dynamite Review. So, uh, I watched last week's episode, I completely forgot to record it, I'm very sorry about that guys, um, I was just knackered <laughs> and to be honest, uh, I just wanted to watch it as a fan mainly, so I did enjoy the show, I uh, enjoyed punk, you know, and enjoyed everything, it was very entertaining and given everything that was happening last week, good build up leading into the show this week and leading into uh, winter is coming for next week's show as well. So we've got the Diamond Ring Battle Royal coming up with the last two participants getting the match next week. Uh, we've got, uh, I actually don't remember, I think we've got an eight-man tag as well. And we've got Brian Danielson taking on John Silver as well. So let's not waste any more time, let's get to AW Dynamite. So, we just had uh, MJF's music play, and everybody cheers for it, but then all of a sudden, Punk comes out and cuts a brilliant promo on the state of Long Island, fucking MJF, it is brilliant, I thought it was a great way to kick off the show, especially when it comes to everything that's been building up between Punk and MJF, it is absolutely amazing, I mean, for fuck's sake, the man even mentions Roddy Piper in um, Hell Comes to Frog Town, for God's sake. That is a brilliant fucking line. Like, if you can mention Roddy Piper and Hell Comes to Frog Town in the same sentence, you you know, you've pretty much fucking won, I thought. Uh, again, great promo. Fans were booing uh, Punk, which is the reaction that I knew he was going to get, but at the same time, there were some cheers for him, but again, it is MJF's hometown, it's one of those things where you just are coming to it and he just ate the entire crowd up and just fucking ran with it and it was brilliant, I thought, it was amazing. So we've also got Jamie Hader versus Rio uh, coming up as well, but our first matchup is going to be for the Diamond Dozen for the uh, right to face for the Diamond Ring. Are we going to have MJF win for a third a year in a row? Maybe. I don't know. Let's find out, guys. So, we just had the first match, which was the Diamond Dozen Battle Royal, and I got a bit very entertaining by this. Obviously, MJF does win. He's in his hometown, for God's sake. But, Dante Martin wins as well by eliminating Ricky Starks at the end. Very surprising. Takes his uh, armband off and throws it at Ricky Starks. So, we're seeing that Ricky Starks and, uh, well, Dante Martin and uh, Team Taz are no longer together anymore. Very weird, very, you know, but we'll see how that plays out in the future. But, yeah, MJF comes back to be like, yeah, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help Dante Martin and then beat the crap out of Dante Martin and the crowd cheer. Obviously, the crowd were very, very, very on MJF's side, which is uh, actually quite cool, I thought. Um, getting cheered in Long Island, especially after what happened with um, Punk as well. It was really good. But Punk comes out to basically help out with uh, help Dante Martin, and that feud is further in between Punk and MJF, and I am very looking forward to it. Cannot wait for it. So next up, guys, we have got the eight-man tag coming up between the top four teams in AEW right now: uh, Varsity Bones, Jurassic Express 2.0, and uh, the Acclaimed. Uh, very weird to see 2.0 in this because they're not really one of the top four contenders, I would personally think. And this is easily going to the uh, good guys, I have to admit that one guys. So, let's not waste any more time and get to that 8 man tag. So, we just had the 8 man tag, uh, and it was very entertaining I thought. Really good, really well paced, uh, fast paced as well. Obviously, Jurassic Express and Varsity Bonds get the win after Jungle Boy blocks in the snare trap on Platinum Matt Caster, if I recall. But at the same time, uh, Eddie King, uh, David Garcia gets onto the win apron to try and stop the ref. Luckily, um, Eddie Kingston comes out to basically break that up and then goes to the back, uh, basically drags the cameraman to the back, gets talking, but then all of a sudden, uh, 2.0, David Garcia attack and basically lay them out. Uh, but again, you know, we have a good. Uh, Eight man tag, we do have the Young Bucks versus uh, Rocky Romero and Chuck Taylor next as well. Um, I feel like they really need to put less, you know, keep the tag teams on to a minimum to a little bit and give the women a second match as well because it just works out a lot better, you know, it works out a little bit more 
if you want to build that women's division as well. You know, we, we do have Jamie Hader versus Rio. Hopefully that will be a good match, but at the same time they need a second match on uh they need a second women's match on the show just to help that up a bit. But with that being said, we do have the tag team match, so let's not waste any more time and get to that tag team matchup. So, uh, we had FTR talking uh, about their tag team match uh, challenging the uh, champions, uh, Lucha, uh, Lucha Brothers, uh, on Rampage again. Uh, that'll be a fun matchup. Uh, they are always fun. But then, ladies and gentlemen, we had the Young Bucks taking on uh, Chuck Taylor and Rocky Romero. Uh, this was a fucking amazing matchup. Like, fuck me. This, so far, match of the night, this match. This was amazing. Brilliant match. Young Bucks get the win, obviously. Orange Tragedy comes in to try and make the save after they get beaten up. But then, ladies and gentlemen, Trent Beretta comes back, makes his return in Long Island with his mum Sue, and basically, oh my god, this motherfucker's ripped. Like, holy crap, he is ripped again. Um, absolutely bloody shocker. Like, I genuinely thought he'd be out for a long, longer period of time with his neck fusion surgery, but no, he's back, I mean, new look as well, beard and shaved head, holy crap, I mean, that was amazing, I gotta admit, very great way to bring him back as well, in Long Island, it is his hometown, uh, cannot wait to see these guys go at it, uh, you know, the best friends with Chuck Taylor and Trent Beretta back, it's going to be absolutely amazing, guys, uh, so yeah, welcome back Trent Beretta, always great to see you, mate. So now we've got, oh yay, we have a Ruby uh, Soho promo, but then the Bunny and Penelope people come out, uh, come in between and start talking, okay? So let's find out. So, um, Bunny and Penelope people come back and basically say that they want to have a free on free match with, uh, front, uh, with, um, now we as their partner taking on Ruby Soho. They basically call her Ruby Solo because she has, you know, friends, but then, uh, Anna Jay and Ty Conti come out and basically protect us. So it is going to be a six woman tag on Rampage. Looking forward to that one. I'll admit, maybe I might watch, you know, I might watch it just to uh, see the show. Um, to be fair, I've not really kept up with uh, Rampage. I really should do. Um, I really need to, to be fair. But then we have Sammy Guevara t uh, doing a promo. And then Cody Rhodes come out and basically says that on Christmas Day he's facing Cody for the TNT title. Why is this motherfucker go getting a motherfucking title shot? Just why? I mean, yeah, he's won his matches, but does he really deserve it with the entire crowd booing him? Uh, I mean, if it's going to be bringing up to the story of Andalade or Malachi Black Costum in the belt, then I hope so. I mean, normally I wouldn't say that, but hopefully it does. But then men of, men of the Year basically talked about how Ethan Page had to jump through hoop after hoop after hoop, which, to be fair, he did. He had to do that to get a title shot. And then basically say that Dan Lambert's coming back to uh, AEW. Yeah, Yay. To be fair, he, you know, he does actually like pro wrestling, and you actually can tell that. So, not too bad. But next up, guys, we have Jamie Hader taking on Rio, and then Daniel Bryan, uh, Bryan Danielson, sorry, that is really annoying to say, I really should be saying Brian Danielson, taking on John Silver, looking forward to that one. Let's do, uh, let's get to Jamie Hayter versus Rio. <coughs> so, we just had a Rio versus Jamie Hayter, and I gotta admit, <coughs> this was a very entertaining matchup, I thought, very well done. Obviously, Rio being the smaller of the two wrestlers, it is David versus Goliath, but that story fucking sells, and I gotta admit, this was a fun matchup. Rio gets the win after a beautiful, I believe it was the double foot stomp and gets the win, uh, obviously uh, Britt Baker comes out, uh, basically Britt Baker gets in the win, hits the lock jaw onto Rio and basically says she will never be a uh, champion again, mm, that'll be interesting to see, uh, but I don't know when she's gonna, uh, when these two are gonna face off, uh, but we do have as well the in-ring debut of Hook on Rampage who will be taking on Fredo Del Sol. So, yeah, Fredo, sorry mate, you're losing that match. But, ladies and gentlemen, as well, we've got Winter is coming. We have Selena Deeb taking on Rio. Again, that's got to be a fun matchup. We also have the World Championship match, AEW Championship match, Brian Danielson versus Adam Page, which I am looking forward to. That's going to be a fun matchup. 
And ladies and gentlemen, we do have MJF and uh, Dante Martin taking on, uh, going for the Diamond Ring next week as well. Look forward to that one as well. So, we've got Varsity Blondes out here for some reason, don't know why. Uh, oh, Alistair Black's about to make an appearance. Am I right? <coughs> I am correct. Oh, new horns. Looks nice. And he's going to spit the mist into Julian Hart's face. Told you. <laughs> oh, and Brian Dan. Oh, and uh, Brian Pillman's face as well. Holy shit. Two for, uh, two for one. <laughs> a two for one special, ladies and gentlemen. I think he was. A, I think he was aiming for uh, Julian Hart, but got Brian Pillman as well. Uh, so we've got. These two facing up? We've got whoever these two are going to be facing up against each other. Yeah. Um, I mean, Malachi Black taking on one of the Varsity Bombs. Well okay. um, done. Uh, Griff Gales and old Brian Pillman Jr. I think that'll be entertaining to see. I will admit that, guys. So, let's get to our main event Brian Danielson versus John Silver. God, this is going to be a fun matchup. So, we just had Johnny Hungu versus Brian Danielson, and this was a very entertaining matchup. And at the end of it, obviously, Mr. Bri Daniel Bri Bleh, Brian Danielson, get that right, Peter, please, uh, gets the win, obviously, after hitting a uh, cradle pile driver and putting in a submission to get the win on John Silver. But John Silver did look good. Uh, basically, Daniel, uh, Brian Danielson came out and said that Uno. Head kicked in, Cabana, head kicked in, Alan Angels, head kicked in. Let's kick in John Silver's head now, shall we? Handman comes out, basically beats him up a little bit, and basically gets to the end of the uh, show, and basically uh, pa Adam Page just says, next week, I'm going to kick the cowboy shit out of you. And then just walked away. Uh, drop the mic, and that's the end of the show. What did I think of it? It was a really good pay-per-view. Uh, pay-per-view. Really good show, good way to build up Winter is Coming with some feuds. Uh, we do have, again, Selena Deep vs. Uh, um, Akala Shida. Should really be Britt Baker vs. Real, but we'll get that match somewhere down the line, maybe at Battle of the Belts or New Year's Smash. You never know. But, again, really good match, uh, really good show, really good card. i got to admit, my favourite match of the night had got to be... The um, tag team match of the Young Bucks and Chaos. I thought that was a really fun matchup. And yeah, definitely match of the night there. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for episode 114 of AEW Dynamite. Uh, the Go Home Show for Winter is Coming. I am looking forward to Winter is Coming next week. Go with me. We got a few more matches as well. Maybe two more uh, in the matches. And yeah, looking forward to it. So, with that being said, guys, I will see you next week for Winter is Coming. And I will see you on Wednesday for the Classic. Wrestling Series, TTFN.